So we have another question, mm -hmm. um, and it's from a revert, um, previously a Sunni, and has now become a Shia, and says, um, it feels like I'm learning Islam all over again due to how many new things I have come across uh, since reverting. Could you please shed some light on your understanding of why some Sunni Muslims do not commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in the way that Shias do? Is it because they have different hadith books um, and obviously enjoying the show and thanking you for your input. Um, this is, I am new to Islam, so um, it's an anonymous Canada. Um, so what would you, the two is? Okay, so I think um, one of the things to realize is although the split, split is something that is historical mm. um, due to who people followed after the Shahada of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, um, it has a lot of fiki implications as well because obviously um, who you followed decided who would then make the rules and regulations and so forth um, because as, it, I mean we've got to realize that when the Holy Prophet was there it was only for 23 years um, so there was a lot of new things that were coming into Islam which then had to, you know, rulings had to be made on. So. Um, there are differences in fiqh as well, so it's not just the commemoration, but it's also the fiqh issues as well um, come into it as well. So it does feel like you're actually, you know, coming into something new, right. um, which it shouldn't because mm. you think, well, I'm still a Muslim. Yes. But there are, you know, differences in fiqh and everything yeah. as well. Um, I think Muharram, it actually does play out quite differently yeah. because um, <clears throat> the Shias obviously are mourning and commemorating the martyrdom. It's a very of visual commemoration, yes, isn't it? Very so much so. And it's not something equivalent, I think, that the Sunnis. Well, the get. Sunnis tend to sort of look at, um, they're actually looking more at gratitude yeah. at that time because 